What's going on everybody? Today we're continuing our Power BI tutorial series and in this video we're going to be looking at Power Query. Now Power Query is really great because it allows you to actually transform the data before you actually get it into Power BI. So if you want to make any changes like adding or deleting a column or changing the data type or a ton of other things, you can do all of that in Power Query. Now, without further ado, let's jump onto my screen and get started with the tutorial. All right, so before we jump over to Power BI and start using Power Query, I wanted to take a look at the data. And this is the Excel from our last video called Apocalypse Food Prep. And in that video, we went through and we had bought some rice, some beans, water, vegetables, and milk, all for the apocalypse, getting prepared for that. Now we decided to buy some additional things like rope, some flashlights, duct tape, and a water filter, several water filters. And after we purchased those, uh, our boss or whoever we're working with or somebody decided to go and make a pivot table. Now in this pivot table, they kind of broke it out by Costco, Target, and Walmart and had all the items, had some subtotals as well as some grand totals right here. And then they decided to kind of copy and paste that into this. And you'll see this a lot when you're working with uh, people who use Excel. They like to kind of make things like this, maybe make it into like a table or, or format a little bit differently, but you'll see stuff like this a lot. So this is what we're going to actually pull into Power Query and work with. Now, we're going to imagine that this is all we have. This is the only thing we were working with, and I'll kind of reference this pivot table a little bit, but we're going to pretend this is all we have and we want to transform it to make it a lot more usable to where we can make visualizations with it. So let's hop over to Power BI and pull this Excel in. So what we're going to do is click Import Data from Excel. We're going to click Apocalypse Food Prep and click Open. And then it's going to bring up this window right here. Now, this is where we can choose what data to bring in. So we can take a preview and just click on it real quick. And this is the pivot table that we were looking at. So it does have that pivot table. So we are able to pull in just a pivot table. And then we have the purchase overview, where it's kind of that formatted um, thing that we we're just looking at with all the colors. We're going to pull both of those in. So we're going to pull in the pivot table and the purchase overview. Now we could just load it or we could transform it. And we're going to click transform and that's going to bring us to Power Query. So let's click on transform data. So now really quick, before we actually jump into working through this and transforming it, I want to show you what the Power Query editor looks like. So if we go right over here, we have our queries and these are the tables that we actually pulled in and we can click on those and kind of go back and forth between them. Now up top, we have our ribbon and the ribbon offers a lot of functionality. We have things like remove columns, keep rows, remove rows, split columns. These are all things that we're likely to use when using this Power Query editor. There's also another tab called transform where there's a lot of functionality here as well. Things like unpivoting a column or transposing columns and rows and using a first row as a header. Some of the things that we'll be looking at today. There's also another tab called add a column and this one's pretty self-explanatory where you can add additional columns like deleting a column, creating an index column or a conditional column. Those are the three main ones. There's also view, tools, and help, but we're not going to really be looking at those today. And then on the far right side, we have our query settings. You can do things like change the name. So we can call it pivot table 2022, and it'll update right over here on our query side. And we have our applied steps. Now our applied steps are extremely important and very, very useful. Anytime we make any change to transform this data, it's going to be documented right here. And then we can go back and look at it, or we can even delete that change in the future if we want to and go back to a previous version of what we just did. So when we loaded the data into Power BI, it did a few things for us. It chose the source, the navigation, and it promoted the headers. And then it also changed the data type. So if we want to check, we can actually see those things or change those things like the source right here. We can click on this little icon and it's going to bring up the actual path where we got this file. So if we wanted to change that or, or it changes in the future, we can come here and we can change this file path. But we're not going to do that right now. So let's click on cancel and let's go back down to change type. So it promoted these headers and obviously these headers are not correct. We're looking at this pivot table and not the purchase overview, but it changed these column headers. And so in the future, if we wanted to, we could easily change those, but it did that for us and it changed the type as well. So if you look right here, it says ABC123, all the way over here to where it just says ABC. ABC means it's only going to be text, where ABC123 means it could be basically anything uh, text or it could be numeric. 
So now let's go over to purchase overview. And this is the one that we're actually going to be working on the most, but we might be looking at pivot table just a little bit to kind of reference it and see some of the differences. So before we do anything, let's just take a look at how Power BI decided to take this data in. So it chose this apocalypse food prep overview as kind of the first column. And that was kind of our header or the title of what we were looking at before. And then all these other columns are basically column one, two, three, four, fives. So that's something that we're going to want to change in just a little bit. There's also all these blank uh, columns right here at the top and kind of these null values as we go along. And we'll take a look at those and we kind of are going to want to get rid of some of this and just clean this up to make it more usable for our Power BI visualizations. This may be perfectly fine and acceptable in an Excel, but when you're pulling it into Power BI, the real reason you're pulling it in is to create visualizations, not just it to look good in an Excel. So we're going to need to clean this up quite a bit. So let's go right up top. The first thing that I want to do is I want to get rid of these top rows. So we're going to go to this top ribbon and we're going to click remove rows and we're going to select remove top rows and we're going to select two because we have one, two rows of all nulls and those are completely useless. We just want to get rid of them right away. So let's click OK and it removed those. The next thing that we want to do is these this location, product and the, all these dates. These are actually the column headers that we wanted. So what we need to do now is we want to go over to transform and we want to say use first row as headers. And just like that, we have location products and these dates as our headers exactly how we wanted them. Now, let's say for whatever reason, you know, we made a mistake and we needed to go back. We would just select remove top rows and that would be perfectly fine. Now you can see over here, it promoted the headers, but it's also changed the data type. So before, if we went to before we remove the headers, these were all ABC123, ABC123, because it had a lot of different data types in there. So it just kind of made a generic data type. But when we promoted these headers, the first thing that it decided to do was also change this data type for us, giving us its best guess as to what this data type is. And it decided to do this decimal. So this one, two is a decimal, but we're actually going to change that. And all you have to do is click on this 1.2, uh, or, or the data type that it has right here for you. And we're going to click on fixed decimal number and let's do replace current. And now it's just a little bit better. So now it's 2.70, 2.5. And that's normally how we would read uh, values like this because this is money. So we would normally read it to the second decimal just like that. And if we have it on the second decimal for some, we should probably have it on the second decimal for all of them. So really quickly, I'm going to go through and I'm just going to change that. And it should be pretty quick. So hang with me for just a second. All right, that is perfect. Now for the purposes of what we're about to do, we don't actually need these subtotals or this Costco total, Target total, and Walmart total, as well as the grand total, really. We wanna get rid of those. And so what we're going to do is we're gonna go right over here. We're gonna click on this drop down, and we're gonna to try to filter this data before we actually load it into Power BI. So we're gonna filter and we're gonna say remove empty and let's remove those and it's going to take out all of those nulls if we wanted to try to filter this out by saying something like costco total or target total we could do that by going right here clicking this drop down on products going to text filters and saying does not contain and let's do insert and we're going to say does not contain and we want to say total and let's click ok and again, it filtered out all of those things. So there's a few different options that you can do if you want to filter out rows that contain either null values or specific values. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is actually get rid of a column, this grand total column. And so what we're going to do is we're going to click on the very top part where it says grand total. We're going to go back over here to home and we're going to click on remove columns. And it says insert. That's because we're on this filtered rows one right here. Um, but what we're going to do is just insert that and it'll insert it right there. That's totally fine. We can just move it to the bottom. Now we got rid of this column entirely. Now, this looks really good visually. I like how this looks. I like how everything is set up. The biggest thing about this is that when you're actually wanting to use this for visualizations, these columns as dates doesn't really work too well. And so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to transpose this or pivot this to where these dates are actually rows. So what we're going to do is select the first date, which is January 1st, all the way through April 1st. And we're going to hit shift and click on that April 1st right there to select all of them at the same time. 
And then we're gonna go over here to the Transform tab, and we're gonna click Unpivot Columns. And let's see what this does. And so now what we've done is we've basically recreated our original Excel that we had. So let's go back and take a look really quickly at that. So this looks almost identical to what we have in Power BI right now. And this is extremely usable and very good for visualizations and is much, much better than this. But again, we were pretending that this is what we were given at the beginning. So you have to imagine, you know, somebody just handing you this and you need to make it much more usable for visualizations in the future, which happens a lot. And we actually wanted to create this. We just weren't given this. Now, a few last things that we might want to do is we want to clean this up just a little bit. We're going to select the data type and change this to date. And then we're going to select the value. And I double clicked on the value and I actually want to call this cost uh, or product cost. Product underscore cost. And then for the location, I actually want this to be called store. So now this looks really good. But I want to show you one thing really quickly on this pivot table 2022. So let's go back here. This looks very similar to how we had it when it first started. One thing I wanted to show you uh, really quickly, and I want to click on this first one. We're going to make this our column header, and then we're going to try to pivot or unpivot this January, February, March, April. So really quickly, let's do that. So we're going to transform, use first row as headers. So now we have this January, February, March, April. Now, if you notice, these are not dates. These are actually text. It says January, February, March, and April. So if we go to do this and we click unpivot, and here's the columns that are created when we unpivot it, it is January, February, March, and April. These are not dates. So we cannot go and change this to a date because that would error out because it's actually text. So it's something that you want to look out for. It's something that you need to be aware of, and you can change that in the pivot table. So you want to be aware of how it actually sits and looks in the Excel or whatever data source you're pulling from before you actually pull it into Power Query to transform. And now the very last thing that we need to do to finalize all of this is go over here to close and apply. And once we click that, everything that we've worked on is going to be applied to the actual data and it's going to load into Power BI to create our visualizations. So let's go ahead and click on that. And so now the data has been pulled into Power BI. Let's go right down here to data and we can see the data right here. If we need to transform this data again, we can bring it back into the Power Query editor window by just clicking the transform data button and it's going to bring us right back. So I hope that this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below and check out all my other videos and everything data analyst related. I'll see you in the next video.